Check it out, guys. It's about 12.45 p.m. on the East Coast right now, and we have SoFi up 0.7%. It's trying to break back over $9 per share after being over $9 per share earlier today and yesterday. So we have to do an update here on the charts, break down my thoughts, and later in the video, if we have time, we'll break down some other stocks as well. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year, and you might as well get up to 15 stocks for Mumu, each up to $2,000. Guys, check out that link down below. We'll talk more about that later. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So check it out. SoFi is up again about three quarters of a percent right now after being over nine dollars earlier today so at one point earlier today we were up around let's see over three percent we were at nine dollars and 15 cents and now we're at eight dollars and 93 cents trying to break back over that nine dollar mark which We'll see, man. We still have about three hours and 15 minutes left of trading. We'll see if we're successfully able to do that. So you guys can see SoFi had a pretty big move in the morning today as we got, I believe, the PCE data, right, uh, which we're not going to get into in this video. But we had a big move this morning. SoFi went from 878 up to about 915 or a 4.3% move in the span of, you know, a couple of minutes there. And clearly we then sold off. But notice how, if I zoom in a bit here, we are holding higher lows um, you know, for looking at the intraday data right here, right? Higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. You guys see all of those higher lows. And we also have one right here trying to form, right? You guys see that? So now let's see if we're able to start breaking back out. Let me show you this on the intraday, right? So we have all those higher lows being made, but lower highs as well. Now let's see if we can break through this point in the very short term. This is kind of what I'm watching heading into the rest of today. And if we do get out of there, guys, maybe we start making a move back to 915 where we were in the pre-market. And also yesterday, um, earlier in the day, that's where uh, we peaked out at, at about 915, 920. So let's see, guys. I'm going to set one alert here. Might as well at $9, mark is at or above. Let's put it, uh, put it there. And on the five day, you guys can see kind of how we've been shopping around over the past one, two days at this point, um, you know, between 875 to 915. And that's after we had a big move. Um, I believe this was on Monday, right? Monday into Tuesday, we had a big move on SoFi. So now we're kind of consolidating a bit. It makes sense as we're trying to now break out to where we were after the earnings came out about a month ago, which I didn't think we, you know, had to sell off or not had to, but I, I didn't think the stock deserved that big sell off to seven bucks in the first place, right? I don't think, uh, you know, that was warranted, which is why I did buy more on the dip. And obviously, I'm holding on tight um, to my SoFi stock right now. So on the 10 day chart, you guys can see, um, you know, overall, we're still clearly breaking out. We, we have an ascending, tri or not an ascending triangle, but a golden cross, right? I'm mixing up my terms here, guys. Uh, we have a golden cross. We're above the 180 SMA. Um, the fact that we held this spot right here earlier this morning um, at about 865, 870, that was resistance, but we held it this morning as support. That's a good sign for the bulls. And here on the 20-day chart, um, you guys can see overall how we're breaking out the golden cross, all that good stuff. It's still there. And uh, here on the four hour, you can see how, you know, we're overall starting to break out, right? We have a golden cross. We're above the wedge. We're above the moving averages. And now we're just, again, consolidating the past two, three tra uh, trading days. And now we're seeing, uh, you know, we're going to see what the bulls are really made of, right? Are we going to start pushing back to 950 or is this rally... Um, a bunch of BS and we're going to fizzle out, right? You know, what, what direction are we going to pick? I feel like we're going to start pushing mid nines to $10 by the looks of it right now uh, with the price action. I could be wrong though, of course. Please do your own research. Please do your own research, guys. I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but it's still looking pretty good in my eyes with 950 being the next target. And if that were to break, we could start going 10, maybe 1050, which is where we were in the end of last year. So 
What do you guys think about SoFi? That's a quick little update on these charts. Really, we're just consolidating, waiting to see if we can break back over that nine nine fifty dollar level. So let's see now some other stocks that are moving. But actually, wait a second. Before we do that, don't forget to get your free stocks for Mumu up to 15 stocks, each up to $2,000. Just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Mumu. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks. Once you do that, you get five stocks. And if you fund your account with at least $1,000 on top of those five stocks, you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks. And each of those could be valued again up to $2,000. So what are you waiting for, man? This is a no-brainer. Use that link down below. And with that being said, cheers. Let's talk about some other movers here that I'm noticing on uh, the day. So we have Beyond Meat continuing the gains, which who knows how long this is going to last. But look, we had a huge move up to about, let's see, $15 after the company reported earnings, which you guys probably saw that. They doubled up, essentially. Then we saw a big pullback, but we didn't completely erase all the gains. In fact, we saw a pullback, we're holding a higher low, and now we're starting to break back out, which goes to show maybe the bulls are getting ready for even more upside um, as now we're up to almost $11 per share again, and we're up over 11.5% on the day. And mind you, look at where we're testing right now in real time. Beyond Meat in the middle of December was at about $10.90, $11. And well, that's where we're at yet again. So we're, you know, we're actually testing the highs from the middle of December right now, which this spot needs to break for the bulls. And if so, if that happens, who knows? We could be squeezing back um, to that $13, $14, $15 dollar level. So Beyond Meat's breaking out. AMD is also breaking out. Keep your eyes on this one, guys. We called this out on my TikTok recently, on YouTube as well. This is something that uh, we were watching. We called it out, right? And now it's breaking out up over 7%. The ascending triangle is clearly playing out. We hit almost 190. And to be honest, guys, I feel like more upside could be right around the corner for AMD. I feel like this could be the start of the breakout. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I'm thinking with AMD. And we also have, let's see, Monster Energy, uh, MNST. Let me pull that up and show you guys. Or not Monster Energy, Monster Beverage. We got to be official here, guys. Monster Beverage, they reported numbers and their stock's up 5.7% percent today so monster reported let's see gap eps of 38 cents which came in line with the expectation sales 1.73 billion which missed the 1.75 billion expected so they actually had a mixed bag earnings report there um, not really seeing anything on guidance looks like deutsche bank has a buy rating on them though um, RBC Capital raised the price target. UBS is neutral. Morgan Stanley um, raised the price target as well. So even though they missed revenue, we're getting a bunch of um, you know bullish analysts or firms or institutions, whatever you want to call them, and that's probably what's sending the stock up now to a fresh high on the four-hour chart. But don't get too excited quite yet because now we're approaching a monstrous level of resistance at about 60 bucks per share. You guys can see 60 bucks per share is a huge level of resistance, which who knows if Monster can get out of there. All right, maybe we do start breaking out even further, uh, but we're not getting that quite yet. So keep that in mind. Um, so with that being said, those are some stocks so far, you know, we covered a bunch in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year. I appreciate you guys as always. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next video.